All right, number one, we're going to be looking at permutations and combinations. I'm going to start out showing you the formula. I'm going to give you a verbal definition, but you can look at the book and get a more formal definition. But N P R, that P stands for permutation. This tells you uh, the number of ways. If you have N objects and you want to choose uh, R of them, this tells you how many ways you can do that. So the formula is N factorial divided by N minus R factorial. So whatever numbers in the front goes on the top factorial and then subtract the two on the bottom factorial. Um, and again, this tells you how many ways you can take N objects and choose and make groups of R of them when the order is important. Okay, <clears throat> so with this first problem we have 6P3. So that will look like this. 6 factorial divided by 6 minus 3 factorial. Alright, I'm going to simplify. We have 6 factorial. 6 minus 3 is 3 factorial. And then we're going to start spelling this out. So the top, so <clears throat> whatever the number is on the bottom, the biggest number you see on the bottom, you stop there on the top. So what does that mean? I'm going to start spelling out 6 factorial. 6 times 5 times 4 times 3. I'm going to stop right there and say 3 factorial. That just means continue going. And on the bottom, I already have a 3 factorial, so I'm not going to spell that out. Um, they will divide each other out, so that just gives us 1. And all we have to do is multiply 6 times 5 times 4. That's 30 times 4 is 120. Okay, in every one of these problems, there will be things that will divide out from the top and the bottom. Um, it will benefit you if you stop at the larger number on the bottom to reduce it. Um, that way you don't have to write out all those numbers, especially when you have something really large here. And then you just multiply the remaining terms. So 120 is what we get here. All right, and then 10 P4. We're going to do that for number 2. Number 2, we have 10 P4. So following that formula, 10 factorial on the top, and then 10 minus 4 in parentheses factorial on the bottom. All right, so 10 minus 4 is 6. So I'm going to write 6 factorial on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and start spelling out this 10 factorial. 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. Stop at 6. And then we have 6 on the bottom. So that really means keep going all the way. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That means 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So instead of writing all of those and then striking them all out, you just stop there and cross both of those out. And now we have to multiply 10, 9, 8, and 7. So we can do it by hand, but it'll speed it up if we use a calculator. But at least show that much. And when you use a calculator, be sure to check. So I'm just going to type in 10 times 9 times 8 times 7. I get 50, 40. I'm going to clear it out and make sure I get the same thing because it's easy to make a mistake. 10 times 9 times 8 times 7. So usually if you get the same thing twice in a row, helps you understand that maybe I've done this right and haven't made a mistake. So 5,040.